So we just thought we'd take you sort of behind the scenes on, on a little look inside one of the workshops here at Coventry. We've spent most of the time obviously showing you guys around Night Fright, the fuselage, the centre sections, the wings and, and some of the major components and what we're doing structurally there. But, you know, as we sort of always always said, the, the devil's in the detail really and there's some incredibly detailed work going on by all of the teams. So we just thought you'd sort of give you a bit of a behind the scenes tour of one of the workshops here and, and what mainly Paul's been sort of tinkering away on. So as you can see in, in the background, he's been mainly working recently on the engine cowling uh, and the cow flaps. Yeah, we're, we're very lucky really that we've had lots of, of brand new parts here at Coventry to go onto those cowlings. So I think we've got all brand new cow flaps, which is a, which is amazing really. We did have some cowlings and cow flaps with Night Fright originally, and we removed some from the airplane in Canada, but they weren't in great nick so i think we pretty much ended up using some new ones which is amazing and so you know you can see the way um, paul's been working here we've got a brand new set of um of cow flaps here which are all nicely painted in green primer ready to go which is great and all the little nuts and bolts and trinkets from from, from the parts inventory here which he's used and yeah the level of the detail here you can see just just what he's been doing just here in the in the hydraulic actuators and everything it just looks absolutely immaculate so i think we're going to have the nicest set of um cow flaps and, and cowlings going on night fright to be honest. So what the cow flaps are used for is, is essentially cooling the engines and the cylinder head temperatures. So really there's four positions you can have them in. You can either have them in open, closed, trail or off. So for example, for starting the engines, you'd have them open. In flight, they generally be in the trail position. So they sort of follow the airflow and, and the engine can be, can be cooled accordingly. Or, or they can be closed, obviously generally when you leave the aircraft so nothing can get into the engines. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what they're for really. They're just um, for, for cooling the engine um, with the airflow and you monitor that on the CHT gauges in the cockpit.